Hi again, Alan Reese with the law firm of Frank and Kraft, speaking again with another one of our uh, senior care consultants here in the city of Indianapolis. Today I'm sitting with Jan T. O'Hara of Senior Life Transitions. They're a senior mover, which is something that many folks have never heard of before. Jan, how are you doing today? Fine, thanks. So uh, go ahead and introduce yourself. Okay. Tell I'm Jan T. O'Hara with Senior Life Transitions. And what does Senior Life Transitions do? Well, we are a full service senior move management company. And we have, we do everything from, we're licensed movers to helping with the state sales and all the steps that you would need um, to move someone from a home into a senior community or any kind of a downsizing situation. So um, we have our clients, um, usually I'll go out first and have a consultation and try to see what their needs are if they just need the movers or most likely they'll need more help than that. And a lot of them are coming from maybe a home of 35 to 50 years with all their possessions, um, their treasures. And so we're going to have to figure out how to downsize. We help with sorting and um, downsizing. And one of the things that we love doing and is so valuable is the floor planning. So we go out and measure their furniture, measure the new home, and try to help them figure out what is the most important thing for them to have. What are their treasures? What pieces do they love? Um, even if we use it in a unique way for a TV stand or something, what they want is my goal to try to, to make it work for them. Um, and then we talk about whether they'll need help with packing. A lot of times their children might be so busy or live out of state and so they're going to need help with the physical packing and the unpacking and the setting up of the new home. So we, as we're packing, we want to duplicate what they've got there. So we take pictures and then when we're unpacking, we try to get it back exactly the way they had it. Um, we hang pictures, curtains. So when they walk in at the end of the day, after they've, you know, we've packed and moved, by 4 or 5 o'clock, they'll walk in and everything will be set up. Beds made, lights, TV, everything plugged in, boxes are gone, and they'll just walk in to their instant home. So it's very fun um, to do and, and to help them. What, sometimes if it's a bigger job, we'll have to pack the one day and do the move and unpack the second day. But we try to do, have a big team and get it all done for them. So, so I understand the process. Instead of just showing up, packing up things in boxes and taking them somewhere else and unpacking them. There, there's a, it's a sort of a, it's a broader, uh, it's a broader process. You maybe have conversations early on with what they're trying to accomplish. It sounds like you actually map out a floor plan of where they're going uh, and help them decide where they want their most important things to go. Uh, and then there's the, the actual process of packing up and moving and then setting things up. It's not just, you don't just show up with a bunch of boxes in their, in their new the new place they're living. You actually unpack and set it up. Oh, everything is put away. Mm -hmm. is, that, is that pretty much the process and how it works, or have I missed something? No, yes. And, I mean, the whole time, it's very relational, you know, where it's very people-oriented versus stuff-oriented. So mm -hmm. we're, you know, whether it's being a resource to, you know, if they want to, um, it's just being there for them during the whole steps. You know, they may need to, to have several floor plans. They may need to have it switched around or switched out or, you know, along the way, there's a lot of um, processing that goes on. And so that's with myself and my assistant, Sarah, who does the floor plans. Okay. Could you give me an example of maybe something where uh, you had to do things a little bit different, a little bit special, maybe uh, someone you helped that had a special set of needs or concerns? something that where you had to kind of go above and beyond that would differentiate you from your average mover? Well, um, because they're, you know, seniors or working with seniors, sometimes, you know, they'll, there's more challenges physically. So right. they physically and maybe sometimes with some memory issues. So, you know, we're always trying to have them do as much as they can on their own, treating them with respect and not, you know, going in and taking over or telling them what to do. So um, recently, one of our clients, she did have some memory issues. And I know the first time I went to meet with her, you know, she wasn't there. She, you know, she'd forgotten. And so the second time we got together, and she just needed a lot of extra help and time because of not being sure of where everything goes and wanting to take too much. And so it was great. It worked out in the end. Her floor plan was beautiful. 
and everything, but it took more time because we had to go over things and maybe go over and call her more and, you know, follow up on things. But, um, you know, we, we feel like we really love each client and try to help as much as we can in any way that they would need. Okay. Um, so you're located in Fishers, is that right? Mm -hmm. And do you just serve Fishers, or do you, do you have a broader area that you can help folks in? Um, we do, you know, a lot, majority is our, our communities are in Indianapolis. Mm -hmm. But because we're members of the National Association of Senior Move Managers, we can connect with other folks coming from out of state or, or another city. Recently, uh, we had a move from Fort Wayne, or from Indianapolis to Fort Wayne, so the family contacted me. and wasn't sure even what to do about moving their mom. They didn't know. They just said, would you move her and the furniture? And so we ended up helping them think through things that she wanted to um, bring out. I, I went in to visit the apartment and beautiful knickknacks, lots of collectibles. And I thought, she's going to want this stuff around her. She obviously loves all of these things. And they hadn't even thought about that yet. So they were appreciative that we helped them think through the questions they didn't even know what to ask. And they were very happy because we packed up her treasures and her furniture and unpacked it up there. And they were out of state or out of town the whole time. So it helped them a lot, you know. So You mentioned the National Association of Senior Move Managers. What is that and, and, and why would that matter when you're looking to find someone helping you? Well, we um, appreciate the being a member. They have a very strict code of ethics and um, high bar. You have to go through training. And we have a national conference every year and smaller conferences where we can learn. Um, and they, you have to jump through hoops, definitely, to be involved and to be a part of that. And we appreciate that. We love being connected. It's been a great resource. So it's some sort of certification process yeah. and training that you go through to make sure that the, you, the, the sort of best practices and gold standard of moving folks okay. is met by, uh, by you and the work that you yeah. do. Yeah. And so it's so nice to connect with others in our organization if they're Come, you know, if we can do that nationally you know, across the state borders and stuff. Okay. Um, what do you what do you think is special about the way uh, you move folks uh, compared to other movers, compared to competitors? What is it that sort of differentiates you and makes you stand out? What do you think you do better than anybody else? Well, I think we are we are very relational, so we do things. Um, I feel like we're moving people. We're not moving things. We really focus on the people. And the services we offer are definitely sort of geared for the seniors need and the challenges that they would have as opposed to just showing up and moving A to B. You know, it's a very big, you know, if they need all that extra help, we're ready to provide it. And the people that we have on our team are, I think, are wonderful. They love seniors. Um, our movers... I just have to say a little play with them. The seniors love our movers. They're just these wonderful young men, um, and they're smart. My son is the IU graduate, and he leads our movers, our team there. And so they love our movers. They're they're very comfortable with them. They're I think half the time, some of the times they think they're their grandsons, you know, working for them. So they love that. They can really relate to them, and they're kind and wonderful. Um, the Packers, the ladies that work for me, they just love them. So we get so many positive comments back from, you know, the, the people that we work, you know, that say they love the people that work for them, so. So, um, for our audience um, who are maybe looking to hire a mover to help either, either help them move or help their parents move, what sort of things should they be looking for in, in a mover, specifically in a senior move? Well, I think the National Association of Senior Move Managers is a great uh, place to start. Um, that shows that we are definitely certified in, in that area. Um, we obviously license, we're licensed, and um, we have um, reviews on Angie's list. People might want to check or, um, you know, recommendations from senior communities. So, and maybe just meet, I go out and meet people. I do that all the time. So I'm happy to do, you know, free consultations. So maybe just um, some of those ideas. Okay. Yeah. Jan, thank you so much for, for coming in and talking with us today. Uh, hopefully you've educated uh, our audience a little bit. You certainly educated me. Uh, thanks for coming in and, and, and taking some time out of your day. Thank you. All right, take care. Bye. Thanks, everybody. And we'll be back in a little bit answering some more questions uh, that folks have about uh, the senior care communities, elder care consultants, uh, and elder law. Thanks.